everybody. Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. It's time for Halloween. Time for Halloween projects, my favorite projects of the year. Um, for the next couple of weeks, I'll be having all kinds of fun Halloween projects for you. This week, I'm using the Best Witches stamp set. Um, and we're going to make a little box that holds one of my favorite little Debbie Snacks brownie pumpkins. You can use the little Debbie Snack Finder. It's a website. Um, you enter your zip code and it'll tell you exactly where um, you can find these in your area, what stores they're at, in case you don't want to drive around looking for them. Okay, let's make our box first. You're going to need your Simply Scored and a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock that is three and three-fourths by 11. We're going to score the short side at three-fourths and three. Now turn it to the long side and score it at four, four and three fourths, eight and three fourths, and nine and a half. All right. Now you want to make sure to grab your bone folder and we're going to burnish all these lines really well with our bone folder, okay? Get them nice and crisp. Now, this part right here, this little short part, is the front flap that's going to fold over. So we're going to cut out these two right here, these two rectangles on either side of that front flap. Okay. Like that. Now, these two little squares, we're going to have them folding in. So you want to come from this side to cut them okay and then just kind of cut the very light slightly cut those corners off okay down here just snip snip and corner corner well my corners aren't aren't very straight but it's going to be way down inside the box nobody's going to see it Snip, snip. Okay, so that's what your piece looks like. Nothing too tricky. You're gonna take these middle tabs, put some adhesive on the outside of them, and then put adhesive on the inside of these long tabs. The first thing you're gonna do is fold this up right into that back piece. Okay, I'm going to hold it for just a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now take these and it kind of hugs the back side like that. Now I'm going to take, we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to take, this is my little trick, I like to take clothespins and kind of hold those together so I don't have to stand here and hold it together while it dries. Okay, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's make our cute little witch. We're gonna stamp her in memento black on a large basic white stylish shape circle. Okay, just right in the middle. She fits perfect. And now we're gonna use Stampa Blends to color her. I have picked Orchid Oasis and Smoky Slate for her outfit. We're gonna use Pumpkin Pie for her uh, broom and we're gonna use um, Petal Pink for her face. Um, we've got lots of skin tone markers, you guys. You can use whichever skin tone matches you or your recipient, whichever one you want. All right, let's start with her um, outfit. I'm gonna use dark smoky slate. And the reason I am not using black is because our black Stampin' Blend is very, very, very dark, which is great when you want something very dark. But here, it would be so dark that you wouldn't see all the little details on her dress. So I'm gonna use dark smoky slate, which is like light black. All right, we're gonna color in her little, the front part of her dress here. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're gonna do her hat. I'm using the bullet end of my um, stamp and blend. We have a brush end and a bullet end, and I prefer the little bullet tip. I think I have way better control that way with the, with the uh, bullet tip. If I'm coloring big areas, then I'll use that brush end. But these are little small areas. And when you get into like something that's really small, like the tip of that hat, you can just kind of dot, 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 kind of tap your marker to get the color in there. Okay, so since this is the dark smoky slate, I'm gonna add some shading just in with the same marker, okay? Um, our blends will layer color on. And you wanna be careful if you lay down too much color, it will start to bleed out. Okay, <laughs> she's so cute. Now for her cape, we're gonna use Orchid Oasis. And I can't remember if I used dark or light. So let's start with light and we'll see. I think I used light. It's pretty dark. Be careful going around her broom and her feet. And there's a little area you want to just tap that color in. She looks like a nice witch. She's not a scary witch. I love Halloween, but I don't like scary Halloween. I like cute and fun Halloween. And all the candy that goes along with it. And the little Debbie snacks too. All right, let's also do the band up here and be careful not to get on that buckle because we're gonna do so saffron there on that buckle and it will not cover up if you get your dark uh, Orchid Oasis ink on there. All right, let's do her. She's got some little collars here too. Just tiny, tiny, tiny. There we go. Okay, so now grab your saffron or Daffodil Delight, whichever one you want. I think um, our saffron's a little more soft, kind of a golden yellow. All right, I'm gonna use light uh, petal pink. I think I have my lids mixed up. Sometimes our blends, they come as a two pack, uh, light and dark. And sometimes the lids colors are so close, it's hard to tell which one is a light and which one's a dark, so you have to look. You can label them too if you want. Now, there we go. I'm also gonna take, don't forget her hands and her, her legs, take the dark petal pink and put some cute little cheeks on her. And then we'll take pumpkin pie for her broom. Now, I didn't color her hair. Do you guys think we should color her hair? I don't know. Well, let's try it. I've got crumb cake here. Let's give her some, let's make her a brunette. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. Okay, there she is. Let's add some Wink of Stella. I forgot to add Wink of Stella to my last project on the video. And you want to just give her a lot of little bling on her, you can put some down here on her dress, make her a sparkly witch. Okay, now we're gonna cut out the sentiment using a label die. I have, the, I have a free project sheet for these projects. Um, make sure that you hop back to my blog and grab it. It will tell you where all of these supplies came from. It'll give you the specific measurements. You can save it, print it, do whatever. That way you always will have reference to exactly what I used. All right, best witches in Island uh, Orchid Oasis. I always wanna call it Island Oasis. All right, now to make our bats sparkly, I'm gonna take some of our washi tape. I'm gonna lay it down here on this black piece of cardstock. Okay, and I'm gonna use the bats from the scary silhouette dies 
to cut that out and it will cut right through that washi tape to give you some sparkly bats. So we've got several bat choices here in this set. I think I'll use the two smallest and the medium bat. Okay, and then we'll cut this out. Run that through our cut and emboss machine. And there's our sentiment. And let's see, we'll get our take your pick tool, get these out. Maybe they'll pop out. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. All right, let's see. Is that one in there? Yep. The dies have little holes in them so that you can poke through to get them out if they don't come out. Okay, now we'll take our little witch and we're gonna use dimensionals or really just one dimensional on our little label here. We'll put that kind of right across the bottom of her. And then we'll use, um, why don't we just use glue? We'll do a little dot and a little dot and a little dot. And let's see, do you think the putty end of our take your pick tool will pick these up? Yeah, it will. I kind of want to bend them in half though, so that they're sticking out. All right, we'll put one there. And we'll put one right there. And then we'll put that medium sized one right there. Okay, let's put the rest of our box together. All right, let's bring our box back over and we will put our bat, slide our bat down in there. And we're gonna add this paper. This is the Gingham Cottage designer series paper. We've got a piece right there. And we'll fold this over like that. I bent my cardstock, but that's okay. We're gonna cover it with this DSP. And we'll put that right there. Now I'm gonna get the Orchid Oasis ribbon to hold it closed. Let's get that nice and straight. And this ribbon is so light and delicate that it's a little bit hard to keep a hold of. All right, we're gonna tie, we're gonna tie that closed up here towards the top. You wanna tie it kind of tight so that it'll um, hold your box closed. And then we're gonna take our cute little witch and take two dimensionals and we're gonna straddle that ribbon you can actually, if you want, put a piece of ribbon right on the ribbon, a piece of a dimensional right on the ribbon to hold it. And then we'll put that right there. My little bats aren't dry and I'm messing them up. Let's put them right back. Okay, there you go, you guys. How cute is she? So look at the difference in the color here. I did use dark. Orchid Oasis and Light Orchid Oasis. You decide which one you like better and uh, have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Make sure you click the link back to my blog, check out that free PDF, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.